Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you guys are good. Usually I'll be talking makeup, lifestyle, fashion related tips and content on my channel. However, I really wanted to switch things up this year and add a few things like reaction and reviews on TV series and books that I've read. So yeah, I'm here and I'm excited to share this this particular video with you. Now, as you guys know, the television series of The Last of Us is finally here. If you guys don't know about this TV series, it's a new series that's recently come out. It's been created by HBO. So the same creators of Game of Thrones. Now, there's been a real hype about this TV series. I'm really excited to share this with you as this is a big budget drama. And it's also this this drama series is an adaptation to a game. So here we are today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my thoughts on the first episode of The Last of Us. Now this drama series is an actual adaptation of the game The Last of Us which is often played on the P I think from the PS4 to now that regenerated to the PS5. I myself have never ever played the game. However, I have seen a lot of walkthroughs and I have to say I'm really really impressed with the first episode of The Last of Us. I've seen a few other drama series like The Witcher that has been an adaptation to a PS5 game. I have not seen an episode or a drama series as good as this. Now this is the first episode so obviously we'll have to see how the episodes and the rest of the drama series work out but I'm really impressed by the first episode. So let's start by talking about the actual characters. Joel and Ella are the main characters of the drama series and they are the main characters in the game. Now the cast that play the characters is Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, both of which have been casted in Game of Thrones in previous series. Pedro Pascal has also, has also been casted in The Mandalorian and Narcos. For me, I find that he's an exceptionally brilliant actor and he's played this role of Joel really, really well. Someone that's watched only the walkthrough of the game and not actually played it, I really found that the walkthrough of the game was very film-like, very drama-like, it's very real. And to do an adaptation of the drama series of this game and make it very similar it was probably really tough, but I really found that there was a lot of similarity between the drama series and the actual game. Like I said, in my opinion, I find that Pedro Pascal has played the character of Joel exceptionally well. I think he's really fallen into his character and Bella and Pedro have had an amazing chemistry between them as Joel and Ella. So I feel like Ella's voice is very similar to what was in the game, although her face looks a little different, kind of bringing back that adaptation. Another thing I really love so far is the fact that they've kept the drama very, very similar to the actual game. Now, the difference that I found was that we get to know Joel a little bit better, we get to know his family a little better in the drama series than we do in the game, and I really like that concept because I feel like getting to know Joel a bit more gets us to really kind of connect with him and have that same emotion to how he is with his daughter and how his relationship then builds on with Ella. To see how the actual drama series opens up and how the game is opened up in the beginning. So you can see how the similarities are in the way they actually bring the game and the drama series a like. So I hope you like this video so far, please hit that like button for me. So I found that in the drama series we get to know Pedro a little better in terms of his relationship with his daughter. So in the game that you don't see as 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 in more detail as you do in the drama series. So in the drama series it's kind of slower, you get to know Sarah a bit better. Sarah is Joel's daughter in the drama series and in the game. So you actually get to know her character, you get to relate with her and you get to see how their relationship is as father and daughter, which is what brings the whole emotion together when spoiler alert, just to let you guys know, when Sarah actually dies. And it kind of shows how Joel becomes a complete different person. Okay, let's get more into the storylines. Is basically global warming has caused a virus that is like a brain uh, disease that is then causing people to turn and become these 
clickers. So this is what's the main thing in the game. The clickers, they turn into this kind of zombie kind of thing that then infected and then causes further infection to the rest of the humankind. So in short, what's ha what has happened and what they're trying to explain is that global warming has caused a fungus that has created a brain disease in humans that has then mutated, caused infection and then that infection has spread. And this is what Joel and Ella, they are the main characters, they are the main survivors of this disease or this infection as such. So you, what we're going to see in the drama and so far is that the chaos that is caused this shows us the reality of the normal life and then how it just switches with this disease. This drama is a very apocalyptic type drama, so very similar to The Walking Dead. So if you've seen The Walking Dead, they have walkers in there so that are very similar to what they have in the drama series in The Last of Us which are clickers. Now the walkers are very zombified, they're kind of easier to kill in The Last in the Walking Dead but in The, the Last of Us they mutate so they cause them to change stages and therefore they become harder to kill and that is probably what's based on the game so they've kind of like brought it in and interacted it in the actual drama scene. So let's talk about the first episode. So in this first episode we get to see Joe and his relationship with Sarah, his daughter. We get to feel the emotion of when Sarah actually dies and you know how that's actually come about, how there's you know why it's actually happened and we get to see also Joel and his brother Tommy's relationship a little just so that he's introduced in this as he's one of the main characters throughout the whole drama series as well. You can see how strong he, Tommy's character is and how his personality will probably develop later on and then we get to meet Joel and Ella who actually meet for the first time in this in this series, how the actual chemistry is between them. Excited to see how the second episode will play out. The fact that these two characters, Joel and Ella, are the main survivors, you get to see and you get to feel their emotions, you get to feel how connected they're going to or looks like they're going to become. I feel like Joel kind of takes Ella under his wing. I feel like this drama is really pulling us into the actual scenes that they're at at the time. The fact that the bit that I found was really like horrifying and really scary and it still made me jump is a bit where the old lady actually turns into, yeah, she actually turns and then she turns into one of these clickers and you can really see that horrifying effect and it's very similar again to how the clickers are in the actual game. You can see how the reaction of it is, you just kind of look and you think the old lady is about to get up any minute now and she's going to run or attack or bite so basically the clickers bite or throw spores at someone for them to get infected there's a scene in the in the drama series where the plane actually falls out of the sky and i feel like that is so dramatic and so realistic it's just very like very real i like the setting of how they've place this drama series again it feels very much like the game very similar yet different by getting to know the characters more so it's giving us more time to see how the characters develop how they speak and what relationships they have so i like that part of the drama series and the fact that it's very set similar to the game it's the setting the area the places the place is good, the costumes are amazing, the way the two casts, especially Joel and Ella have played out, I feel like there is a real good connection, real good chemistry between the two. I really like Tommy's character, I feel like I'm getting to know Tommy a little bit more in the, in the drama series. I feel like, like I said, I haven't played the game, I've watched the game being played by my partner and I've also seen the walkthroughs of this game and that's where I've was excited to watch this drama because how real I felt that the game was. I wanted to see how they would adapt this drama series to such a good game with great graphics. So that's the review on the first episode of The Last of Us. I'm super excited to see the next one. It's fact that we have to wait another week to see it. So by the time you see this video, hopefully the next one will be out. 
and if you want me to review that one then please let me know hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you guys i really enjoyed a different concept on my channel if you guys are looking to see something a little more different then please leave a comment in the box below i'll be happy to read your ideas and your concepts and anything else that i'd like to create on my channel uh, because i feel like i want this year to be slightly different to last year i want something more on my channel something different as well as the makeup tips and as well as the fashion so i look forward to seeing you guys in another video thank you very much for joining me today in this video and i hope you like this video so please hit that like button thank you for liking subscribing and watching